Yo, what's going on guys? Today's should you spark still be the hardest should you spark I ever had to do personally. My bias is going to be oozing out, but I will try my very best to contain it for this video. If you may know, this character in the banner currently has caused me pain. There was a certain time where she emptied the wallet, she emptied my crystals, took my took my took my tickets too, and she came me. What's you know what she gave me? She gave me nothing. She didn't perform. She didn't MVP me anything. It was awful, and I tried for months to justify it. I still do. So I will try my very best to be objective and fair and critique her like any other character. Even if I'm biased as hell, I will not let it go through in this video. But furthermore, today we'll be talking about November Flaskal featuring John Limited. Oh my God, Grand John, whatever you want to call her. This hurts me. We also have a new SSR unit, um, Satori, I believe. We'll go look at the mana really quick. So we have raid up characters. Let's go. As I mentioned, John grand let's put that for now limited oh baby oh this hurts me it hurts me so hard man you'll have satori um she's a standard gotcha unit i believe i don't she don't have the grand tech so standard gotcha i'm starting putting standard gotcha instead of i think i, put, I used to put non-limited but i think standard gotcha looks a little bit better um then we have black knight People ask me my opinions on Black Knight. I think she's really, really good. Um, now Bahamut high level racer, but in normal content, I think she's really, really good. Though she benefits people with a higher HP grid than people with like lower HP because of her heal. 2K heal is quite a bit, but when you have like 50K HP, 60K HP, right? It's not that much. Black Knight limited. All right. So these are the th your three rate up characters. We have a new SR, Krugn, Krugn, whatever her name is. I don't care. He's an SR. Who cares? Um, as usual, you get the red rank upon unlocking any of these characters, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's about it, really, right? So it's a grand, not fl it's a flask gal banner, and generally there's no summons on flask gal banners. So one thing to take note of. Okay, I think that's about it. Now, if anybody's asking me, am I gonna do a video on this unit? All right, I have an account with this unit already, so I'll probably do a video on her after this video. So, um, we could talk about her in this video though, but you'll get most of my opinions here and then we'll test her out in the run. Now, let's first take a look at John Grant. <sighs> I had to breathe, Mark. <laughs> I, I had to breathe. Oh my God. <laughs> the mice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to look at her skills, and it's so hard. I want to look at her design. Oh, she is human. Oh, so you know how to keep her, she kept her saber ability. Wow, cool. Good job. You know how to use sword. Yeah, I, and you know how to use a sword. She got massive light damage to a foe or her ogi. Next, sanct oh, it was sanctify. I had to sanctify, but you know, whatever it works. Uh, affects all allies and cool down. Ah, uh, what is this skill? Huh? So she resets. Why has two TA? Huh? That's weird. That's not supposed to happen. Is that supposed to be two turns? Did they mess up? That's that 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 that's not that's not supposed to happen. I think that's a mistake. Um. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But whatever. Um. Her skill one. Hits to all foes attacking the fence in 2019. Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I thought it was stack of, I thought it was normal hit the attack and defense. Now, this being local, uh, did local even work in far high level? I don't even know. Does it work in far high level? I, I actually don't remember if local attack and defense down works there. Mm. Yeah, I'm not too impressed by that, but the damage taken supplemental. Ooh, that's a, mm, so we get supplemental damage for four turns. Kind of low though, on a nine turn cooldown, oh God. Nine turns. Unless this is 50-50, if this is 50-50, that's amazing. I'll take it. I'm not gonna lie, that's great. If this is 50-50, he caps attack and defense down for four turns, that's really good. But I don't know the values on it right now. I'll be able to tell you guys in the video though. So, watch out for that. Um, I still don't understand why her skill two has two TAs on it. I really don't understand. I, I, don't, I don't think this is intended. It wouldn't be the first time John broke the game. Um, where her, uh, her strength boost is three turns. Wow, I still only to herself though in 2019? Is this AOE effect or something? Oh, it is AOE. Yeah, 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 it's AOE. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. I don't know. Is it, so this is guaranteed triple attacks. Oh, that's dirty. Oh. Because it's deal triple attack. It didn't say boost the triple attack. So we get guaranteed triple and strength for one turn. Well, well guaranteed triples for one turn, and then strength buff for three turns. Oh, that's like, that's really Rune Slayer heavy, huh? But you have to Ogie for it. See, that's the same problem as Yule, where you have to Ogie to get the the, the nut. That's okay to say on YouTube, right? Don't don't demonetize my video. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you have to like really you have to Ogie with her still, which is kind of eh. Somebody told me she had paralyzed or something. Wait, fine. Somebody told me. No, I guess it was memeing. Somebody told me she had paralyzed. It must have, it must have been some like it must have been this scale, and they changed the paralyzed icon. I've seen a couple like screenshots. I'm a little bit late, by the way. I'm like 40 minutes late, so the banner got released 40 minutes ago. Eternal Divinity, boost to all allies' critical hit rate and damage cap. Ooh. And so the start boost, it's for all allies. Is that for one? Boost all allies, critical hit rate, damage cap, start boost to attack for one. So I don't know if this is to all allies or it's only to her. But if it's only to her, it's gonna be, I mean, no matter how we look at it, it's gonna have a really low value. It reminds me of Grimnir, but the damage cap boost is really nice though, and a critical hit rate. So she has strength, critical hit rate, damage cap. She's just oozing out like one turn. Like a really heavy bur oh my god, her look so cute, dude. <sighs> be fair, be fair, be fair. Um, yeah, she's looking to be more like a Rune Slayer heavy character, where she wants to one turn burst you really, really hard. Really, really, really hard. God, man. <sighs> what the hell is this subskill? One turn cut the skilled standby and cooldown for Eternal Divinity upon triple attack. Okay, well, that's nice and fair. Bonus light damage effect to all allied triple attacks. Oh my God, she has strength, bonus. Hmm, now, I, here we got a problem here. This may not stack with Rune Slayer. I'm pretty sure it, it will not stack with Rune Slayer, which is maybe a problem. So I just mentioned her being a Rune Slayer burst, but it may not stack with Rune Slayer. It's gonna be a problem there. Obviously, I don't know. I haven't played with her yet. In a few, I'll, I'll be playing with her about once I'm done with this video, so. But we'll see, we'll see. Increase all allied boost. Oh, so she's the light. Okay, so this is what they're doing here. So because Metatron, nobody cares about Metatron, and we all prefer this thing. Yeah, they call her a thing. Um, I gotta be fair. So because nobody wants a Metatron, this is what we get. That means Dark is going to be somebody else. And as usual, they don't have any way to boost light attack up because their job is just to be there for the light attack and you bring somebody else to boost light attack and you can activate their passive. So that means that we're not getting Avatar, thankfully, for for Dark. Now, who are we gonna get? 
maybe a pretty boy. It, it lines up, right? We think about it. Like, if we get a dark character that's a pretty boy in about two months from now, three months from now, around anniversary time, right? Looks pretty good, right? We think about it. Because anniversary, anniversary in Grand Blue Fantasy is in the middle of the month, three months from now. A, a certain character, you know, it could be around. It could be a, a story quest too. Just, just throwing it out there, you know, it, it lines up pretty good in my opinion. So. I could definitely see a certain character that starts with a B being playable if they go that route, if they really want to. But we'll see. Now, um. <clears throat> Man, my throat's killing me. Hold up. <laughs> we got improvising the video, dude. You probably hear it, but it's really bad because I just woke up. People were pinging me about the character. So I didn't have much time to really get up and or do anything. So we're looking at Satori next. Um, oh, there's one more thing I wanted to mention about John, right? I know people really like, really, really like John, right? But there's one really important thing I wanted to mention about her. Her skills have awful overlay with light characters. So problem one, strength. There's like what three characters, and it's one about to get a full limit break that has the strength ability, has horrible overlay. She has. Damage cap up. There's a one character that's about to get a full limit break that has the ability to do damage cap up. Sharp boost to attack for one hit. Um, this is okay for light. There's no one that really overlaps that ability, so that's like whatever. But these, this one, the strength ability being so prominent in light is kind of a problem. And for her to get the maximum AOE strength, he has the Ogi, and that's a really big neg like a really really big neg for her because why ogi when you could hit lucio scale one fun fun scale one a certain character that's about to get a full limit break you know she she has to really set up which takes time so i can't really tell you if she's gonna be good or not but it's, it's something you gotta really think about is that she doesn't really synergize well with a lot of other light characters because she does the same thing that a lot of other light characters happen to do already so unfortunate gosh has a good outfit though now satori she is a bo katana that's kango right bow and katana right um she has 20 percent boost to charge bar oh my god we have another bow unit in light oh this was the paralyzed unit oh i thought it was john is satori that's the paralyzed unit Oh yeah, this might be a problem. She has attack, defense down, and paralyze on one skill. Light damage. Oh my God, Song. This is this is Song got competition, guys. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Light. Wait a second. Ten turn cut to a light ally skill cooled. Oh, they memeing. Are you supposed to run these two characters together? Wait, what? Did she? Did, what? She activates the hundred. Oh my God! They're they're memeing. They 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 just get a, they gave a combo one more combo. Oh uh, what the? Okay, wait, hold up. I gotta what? Light damage to all foes. Twenty percent boost to caster charge bar. Boost to multi attack rate stackable. Why'd she do so much? When one celestial stand is consumed, activates twice. So she gets 40% charge bar boost? Boost the multi attack rate twice. Hmm. Has the maximum charge. Oh my gosh, she has Kango. She's Kango. She's a, she's a walking Kango. And she gives 20% charge bar to herself every time she ogies. Boost to charge bar at the end of turn when the foe has paralyzed effect. Why did they give that to her? One Celestial Strand to Satori upon using Charge Attack, boost the CA specs based on the number of Celestial Strands. Okay. Now, see, gain strands by Ogying. So you need to get a bunch of Ogies off with her for her to really get the value. Um, unfortunately, this is not for racing a material in light Bahamut high level. So um, automatically remove that, though she had the value for a Paralyzed Bot. Now, you do have other options like Song, but for people who don't want to make Song, right, and they still want to be able to bring Paralyze to the raid, 
even though you can't really extend her paralyzed without song so it's kind of mundane but you know for people who don't want to make song right this is an option for you it's that you just can't extend it which is kind of you know kind of lame it really depends on her EMPs though if she had better EMPs than song you could actually run her over song because he'll hit paralyzed better than uh, song does but this is the 10 turn cut to a light ally skill cooldown and 100% boost to charge bar. It is, it is really funny that it goes really well with the light John who happens to need to Ogi turn one. And her skill three, I'm pretty sure has a very hefty cooldown along with her skill one and skill two, right? I, I just find it to be very fun, funny, very, very funny. And they both happen to release on the same banner. The only thing that I don't find to be like the perfect unity between them is that she does not boost light attack. If Satori gave a light attack on Ogi, I would have, I would have laughed really hard. But that's one thing she's lacking, unfortunately, which is kind of big because that's another unit that doesn't really do much for the team in terms of like buffing. She has the debuffs, which is really cool and all, but I don't know. One thing I will mention though is that I think Satori is a better full auto unit. If you're looking for Paralyze, because she'll take a little bit longer than Song to Paralyze, because she needs to Ogi three times to get her Paralyze effect. And that's while also keeping in mind that Double Weave is going to be activating twice a couple times. So if you're looking for like a way to, to full auto Bahamut high level and still be a Paralyze bot, I think Satori is the better option. Yes, that matters to me because I like the full auto things, you know. Because I play to a, I play multiple accounts, right? So I tend to full auto more than the average player. So they won't have to be skill three, unfortunately, though, on full auto. But skill two and skill one should activate no problem. And that's about it for this banner. We can talk about Black Knight because people ask me about my opinions on her in the video, and I just haven't got around to it because I've been really dead between GBF real life and everything. So Black Knight. Okay, so things that are really really cool about Black Knight. Let's just go into this. Let's go through her actual upgrades in game. Where's Black Knight? Okay, this account's level 94, so just ignore that. I'll talk about her stuff that she got. So remove all debuffs from Black Knight. Her Ogi is still kind of underwhelming in my opinion. What really cool is the quad spell activate. So it allows her to remove debuffs twice, slow twice, burn twice, and upon getting level 100, she gains the ability to lower defense stackable by 5% I think each hit so that's really cool I like that a lot more um though the problem still stands where like she has the spell slow on one skill so there's gonna be times where you don't want to dispel or the times where you want to dispel but you don't want to slow for example if you want to take paradise loss right and you wanted to dispel you got to keep in mind that you know you can't because you're gonna activate slow so this the interactions that can be really weird with her skill one still and that's always going to be there because her skill one has two really important abilities but long term i feel like it's really really cool it's it's re it's replaceable for claris who was also another dispel a double dispeller in dark but she doesn't have the ability to do gravity and remove the eighth labor seventh the seventh labor my fault so that's still a little bit hard for bk to ever replace Claris, but she's in like another option for people who don't have Claris. You should probably pick up Claris though, because people are probably gonna just kick you for not having her with the um, anniversary ticket. Onyx Drain, also we're called Negro Drain uh, in the patch. I know people wanted me to mention that. I thought it was pretty funny as well. The skill is pretty nutty. The only downside is that it does heal for 2K. I mentioned before that the heal for 2K not that big when you start to stack more health on top of it thanks to the palm tree or team up malice tree the the garrison weapon from team up malice the dark one so when you start stacking more health on bk and she's in a 50k range it doesn't matter nearly as much but with your standard pure damage build it's a really big hindrance because after zoe she's going to be like around 60 percent health and then she heals a little bit more because of her skill two. So the lower your health, the, the more I think this is a hindrance than a help. But then when you have more health, it's a lot more benefit. 
So to keep that in mind that the lower your health, it's more of a hindrance and not that great. And the more health you have, the better the skill gets. It has a really low cooldown. It has a really high skill damage cap too. And it can really be combined with Kalulu. The only problem is that I think you would bring BK more to raids that are, are more hard versus uh, a raid like Bahamut high level where it doesn't really attack you. So you're not really taking damage. So this is more of a skill for like Fa high level, Yubaha high level, but you want to play a midi, but you still want to, you know, heal up a couple hits, you know, because you end up taking a lot of triggers in that fight. So it's not nearly as bad as, you know, something like Bahamut high level where you end up block being paralyzed and you take no damage. Petrified, don't need to talk about it, same skill, whatever. The skill, Protector's Sword, is actually broken. Um, it gives her an immense buff, like 100% defense buff. So it's like Catalina's skill, if you know Catalina Filament Break. So it's really absurd. The only thing that she does not have is the ability to extend it, like Catalina, which is okay. But what really works well with this is that she al it allows Black Knight to be a Protector role for a Gunslinger on Dark. The one thing about Gunslinger on Dark is that you don't want your main character to get hit in order to activate the Gunslinger's Divinity passive with the end turn nuke. Now, along with Black Knight, you can combine both of them together to ensure that Black Knight first takes damage because, at, as I mentioned, Black Knight has a ton of defense, so it's hard for her to lose health in higher end content. But thanks to the, her skill four, she's going to take twice as much damage generally because she'll be protecting your main character, allowing both of them to generally get their nukes off at the end of turn, which is really cool. Unfortunately, it lasts four turns um, and the cooldown's eight turns. So it's not like permanent uptime. It's like half the time. But as long as you time it well and you know to use it on triggers and stuff like that, it's good enough. Um, you do have things like Kieran as well. Uh, on dark which is really accessible to get so it's not perfect skill in my opinion because you know the, the cooldown is kind of long but it enables gunslinger and more hard content that like the upcoming nightmare 150 so i think it's not a bad skill but the cooldown could definitely be reduced a little bit to like six turns to make it like a better skill her passive changes this one, sort of the spirit stays the same, but Black Knight, I believe is the one that changed. I could be wrong, but one of one of them changed, allowing her to activate Onyx Drain whenever she's below 50% health, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, just know that it does heal you, so once you get above 50, goodbye to your passive. So you need her to be taking a lot of damage. Unfortunately, Black Knight has one problem. She has no hostility nodes, and that's a big neg on her. I really wish they changed one of her nodes, like the healing node or the critical hit node, so that she can gain the ability to get hostility up. But it's unfortunate that she does not have that. I feel like it will make a big difference on her because you, you want her to get hit as much as possible to really utilize her passive. I think that covers everything about these characters. So I, I think that's about it. Now let's talk about the next upcoming banner. I was correct, by the way, my left. Banner predictions. Um, I believe I predicted like the next galley unit. No, not for the next limited unit. So I was right. It, it followed the same trend. That means that we should be getting another grand unit in December. So that's one thing I'm trying to tell people. Like on this banner, right? I wouldn't even spark John because he. There's a certain five of uh, a certain limited unit. I won't mention names, but there's a certain limited unit that's about to get a full limit break. And I think her kit doesn't really go well with her. And depending on what her skills are, it can really be a problem because of her level three vortex giving the already stamina buff and damage cap boost. While yes, John have assassin, that's cool and all, but I would wait because you don't need to put her in this banner, right? We're going to have another banner, and, and I'll talk about that in the future, um, at the near the end of this video. But we're going to have another banner with another limited unit, and you need the sparker there. So I don't think you should be pulling her on this banner unless you're a whale. In which case, you probably ignored my video anyway, and you already rolled for her. Oh my god, her attack mates. Oh my god. Because I'm looking at this character, bro. She's trying to. She's trying it. 
Uh, one thing I haven't looked at though is actually the rates. I'm pretty sure the rates is 0.3, but we'll take a quick look at it. Yeah, 0.3. It's, it's the average, you know, 0.3 rate. Gotcha. <laughs> average gotcha. Eh. Nothing too good, nothing too bad. Unfortunately, as I mentioned many times with Grand Blue, the rates are going to be not that great because, you know, it's how many characters in this game? What, 238 or something? No, 230. Wait, hold up. I think 234 characters uh, in the gotcha. So it's rough, unfortunately. Now, I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about with this banner. I think we're going to talk about upcoming banner. Upcoming banner. Um, I'm going to write one thing here. I know people are going to probably like, skip to the end of the video. So, wait. <laughs> I, I know people are trying to skip to the end of the video. Um, so. <laughs> Actually, I feel like um, Black Knight is actually the best value of this banner. Her full break is actually pretty good, so. For people who don't have like every optimal dark unit, not everybody has Claris and, and all the other fairy and like 20 million other dark limited units. I, I, this is for you, Grim, so. Not everybody has them, so. Now, upcoming banner, as I mentioned, um, Combera last appearance. What's this? Uh, yeah, right? I'm pretty sure. Com Combera last appearance. Right? It's, this was this upcoming banner. What is this? December. Like that, right? Legend Fest. So. <sighs> My thought was let's put it in December like fest. I, I think I like that one more. Let's go with that. So so we have Combera Last Appearance. Uh I believe we have a story event coming this month. Oh. I don't remember the story event. I think it's right behind you, right? Right behind you. Mm. I don't believe that they're gonna have another Zeta or Hmm, maybe a new Bea. I don't think, no, I don't think they're putting a new society unit right before. So they usually tend to give society units in the beginning of the year, um, January. So I don't think they're going to do it. But uh, compared to last appearance, so that's something we have to look at. I do believe that it should be Monkey plus a uh, Monkey or Anilla, I believe. Monkey or Anilla in the banner as well. Mm. I'm trying to think. So I don't. I don't think that we're getting. I don't think we're getting a new society unit. I really don't believe so. Uh, I don't think of it. I can't think of anything else really that I know for a fact we're getting from the December Leg Fest banner. Oh, wind. Uh, wind. What's it? The wind crash unit. Wind Crest Summon is another thing we should be getting. Um, I think that's about it, really, right? Compared last appearance, Monkey, Anola, Wind Crest Unit. I think that covers everything in this next upcoming banner. Uh, honestly, I really can't. Um, I can't really think of anything else in this upcoming banner. So generally they give us like info on the events and stuff. And I know we're getting right behind you, rerun. Oh, gotcha pin, gotcha pawn. Hmm. That collab is in December, but I don't believe that we're gonna get any info on it until the December update. So that's what I think should be in the banner. It's, I know for a fact from Barrett's last appearance, it's Monkey or Anilla. I believe it should be Anilla though. No, we just had a monkey, right? Didn't we, didn't we just have a monkey? Maybe it's my hero. No, it's Anilla. It's Anilla. It's Anilla. I'm pretty sure it's Anilla. Um, I think that's about it. I, I may be wrong. Leave anything in the comments if I'm wrong about anything. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm doing this at like 6 a.m. in the morning, so forgive me. I'll be here. It's, it's rough out here, guys. It's rough. 
I'm gonna get on the video with John and we're gonna see how he plays. I probably won't talk in it, but who knows? Maybe I will. I'll figure it out. It's enough. I just talked for 30 minutes, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, leave any questions in the comments and I'll talk about it in the comments or something. Um, see you guys next time with the John video.